We're going to talk about our consistent expert level technical support offerings for Oracle Web Center. My name is Jason Lehman and I'm the marketing lead here at Fishbowl Solutions. Here's our agenda for today's discussion. I'm going to give you a couple minute overview on Fishbowl Solutions and then I'll introduce our speakers for today. Happy to be joined by both our technical support expert Matt Rudd as well as well as a current customer Judy Hedrick with Cascade Corporation. Matt is going to cover most of the presentation today and he's going to talk about some of those issues that that are very common when it comes to support from the vendor. Matt will then go over and give a comprehensive overview of those various support offerings and list out all the details of what's actually included in those offerings. At the very end we'll talk a little bit about pricing and packaging so again what's included what the costs are for those offerings, and at the very end we'll, we'll go through a summary and then have some time available for questions. A quick few words on Fishbowl Solutions. So again, Fishbowl Solutions, we've been providing solutions and services for Oracle Web Center for about 14 years now. A lot of customer successes across the various verticals, but we really specialize in Web Center content and portal. So we've built up the knowledge base and skill sets with those two products specifically as you think about what we've helped customers build, build out and extend their content management infrastructure to surface content portals um, and, and also just really help them centralize and provide that holistic content management strategy that they're looking for um, when it comes to Web Center. We also do work with customers on the business process automation side, so helping customers leverage and extend the strong workflow capabilities that are provided by um, BPM Suite. Also, we're very proud to say we've won a lot of awards. So with our successes that we share with our customers, we've uh, won awards on our mobile applications. We've won, uh, we've won awards um, across other applications as well. And we've also had eyes as our um, ECM Architect of the Year. So again, Fishbowl provides of a broad set of various solutions and services. On the consulting side, which Fishbowl has been um, doing for, like I said, 14 years, we really focus on the Web Center content and portal pieces within Web Center Suite. So providing um, organizations with consulting level services for implementations, integrations across Web Center content and portal. And then really looking at the other Oracle technologies that they have in place and how they want to either integrate or further extend further leverage those other technologies that enable them to do other things with Web Center, including the ADF and SOA technologies that Oracle provides. I mentioned business process management. We also work with customers to integrate with their ERP system. So um, a common example or most popular example with that is document imaging or imaging for accounts payable. So um, image enabling your accounts payable process so you can kind of get rid of paper and automate your workflow processes with the power that Oracle has in the Web Center and extending that with um, intelligent forms recognition and the integrations between imaging and the ERP system. So overall, we help, we help customers with their installations, configuration, tuning, multiple things that we help customers do from a Web Center perspective. And with that, I'd like to introduce our first speaker today. It's Matt Rudd, Fishbowl Support Manager. I'm going to give Matt a few moments to introduce himself. Thanks, Jason. Um, as Jason said, I'm the Fishbowl Support Manager, so I was brought on to Fishbowl to head up the support team. I have approximately uh, 11 years experience working with Oracle products that includes Oracle Web Center, Oracle Portal, uh, as well as integrations across the rest of the Oracle stack. I'm a former Stellan employee, so I joined Stellan back in 2003 and worked uh, with Oracle up until 2012 in various capacities, including advanced resolution engineer, bug diagnostic engineer, and specialized mainly in the APIs and integration. So integrating uh, Web Center content across the Oracle stack. My background as a whole varies from web systems management to software engineering to doing support, as well as uh, just general process and business management. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. And again, you'll be hearing from Matt in just a few moments. Matt's going to be covering most of the presentation today. Also very privileged to be joined by current Web Center content customer, Judy Hedrick. Judy, please take a few moments to introduce yourself as well. All right, thanks, Jason. Um, I've been with Cascade at, for 18 years, and I am, have, am a workflow application developer. I have over eight 
years experience with Web Center content. I started out as a system administrator, but I gradually got hooked on workflow application design and development, and that is primarily what I do in addition to the system administration. All right, great. Thanks, Judy. So before I turn it back over to Matt, I just kind of want to set the stage. So you're here today to, talk, to hear about our solutions that we have now have and kind of bundled up from an enterprise support perspective to help you with your web center system and, and the overall implementation and your go forward maybe strategy with web center. Um, but one of the reasons you're probably joining is you've had some issues with current vendor support on the web center side. Well, I just wanted to kind of paint the picture that, you know, overall vendor support on the IT side, it's pretty problematic as you look across the broad range of applications that are out there and the various technologies. This is just a, one example of that. I pulled some research from Harris Interactive and Gartner, some um, analyst firms, and this was, a, um, this was a study they did to some companies and getting some feedback on phone support. So 96% of the co companies that responded said most of their issue res resolution is handled over the phone. Well, those same customers, 85% of them said that overall, they're dissatisfied with their phone experience. So multiple things that probably go on there. They're on, maybe they're on hold too long or they're not getting to the right people. Um, and that's actually the next one where 72% of them said it just takes too long to reach an agent. So actually getting to someone um, that can actually answer their, or ask, answer their question that has been asked and provide them with some steps to rectify that, that problem that they're having it just takes too long to get actually get to that person. And then actually if they do get to a person, only half the responding organizations say that they actually got their, their question answered correctly. So 50% of them saying that they're, they're, um, they, the agent actually failed to answer their question. And another alarming trend is that based on, so you have the conversation, you get some information, you go back and try to apply um, the steps that were given to you to, uh, to solve your problem, and that information that you took back actually was inaccurate. It didn't actually help you solve the problem. So again, just want to kind of paint the picture that, you know, you're having issues with web, maybe perhaps with web center vendor support, but the overall support in the IT industry is an issue. And one of those, one of those reasons, I, reasons why is you just don't have the technical, you're not getting the technical expert necessary to, to help solve your problem. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to kick it back to Matt, because as Matt explained, he's been, in, been um, with Web Center for many, many years. And so Matt, why don't, I, why don't you talk about some common issues on the Web Center side as well? Thank you, Jason. So as Jason mentioned, we're going to kick off uh, the webinar by identifying some of the common issues within the Web Center space. So during my experience as a support engineer, I've heard many criticisms of both support processes and offerings. Uh, as well as made my own observations about the problems. When developing our support offerings uh, and processes, we began, by, or we began the process by identifying those most commonly cited issues. These included lack of support consistency. So with vendor support, many customers, customers have experienced support personnel of widely varying skill levels and support experience, as well as widely varying soft skills. This results in a lack of trust um, that when support issues actually arise, it's going to be handled appropriately and the issue is going to be resolved quickly. Next is a lack of overall support quality. Going hand in hand with support consistency is a lack of quality. We've heard of poor communication, a lack of senior resources, templated responses. Um, since joining Fishbowl, I've experienced this myself when opening SRs from the partner side. Uh, even if I were to provide the exact line of code that needs to be changed along with version information, steps to replicate the issue, et cetera, I've been asked many times for superfluous information from less experienced engineers. Uh, another example is how many times customers, customers have been told to disable their customizations as soon as custom components are discovered within the environment. Which brings me to the next issue, which is relearning or lost knowledge. An example uh, is being asked for information you've either provided in the same service request or in previous service requests since the knowledge of the environment is not be maintained between those requests. Uh, vendor support is structured in a way that is used for firefighting problems. That is, it's about solving the immediate issue rather than building a more stable and overall more usable web center implementation. Finally, complex support processes within Oracle are not necessarily customer friendly and are often very difficult to understand. 
This, along with my previously mentioned issues, makes it extremely difficult to make progress on service requests and drive uh, those toward resolution. The end result of all this is that issues from a business standpoint uh, experience delayed resolution impacting the Web Center implementation and ultimately a reduced return on investment. As we know, Web Center implementations are not inexpensive, and if the system isn't stable or if issues ar arise that are impacting the business, it can often result in wasted resources, reduced end user satisfaction, and ultimately not getting the most of your Web Center installation. So Fishbowl knew going uh, to market with our support offerings that we needed to provide basically a market leading spectrum of support services. The spectrum of services will provide a great breadth of available coverage for the web center customer community. And we group these into four distinct categories of support offerings. First is our enterprise support. Uh, enterprise support is basically expert level consistent support for your web center implementation. Um, that is delivered to your on-site Web Center IT resources. Second is our customization support offering. So customizing Web Center implementations is extremely common due to the wide variety of business requirements for UCM and portal environments. Uh, customization support provides you with the same grade of support you'd expect for Web Center, uh, except it also includes customizations you've made to Web Center. Next is our administration support offering. It's not always feasible for organizations to dedicate resources to administering a web center implementation. In addition, it's common for IT staff with an enterprise to have multiple, if not many, responsibilities. So administration support, the goal of it is to provide that dedicated assistance for administering web center. Uh, for example, making configuration changes, applying uh, interim patches or O patches to your web center environment. Finally, uh, end user support. End user support is for enterprises that may not have an in-house staff for supporting their end user base or would like additional assistance for supporting those end users. Um, we offer end user support that will allow organizations to benefit from the same expert level support but directly drive end user success within Web Center. So we'll be covering these uh, in more detail throughout the webinar and evaluating uh, and going through and clarifying the benefits and distinctions of each. One of the main concerns when developing the Fishbowl support offerings was to ensure that Stellant and Oracle's legacy Web Center versions were covered with the same great level of service as the newer releases. It's a common story that we hear uh, from a perspective that when we're running, that a customer is running Content Server 7.5 or 10G, they're either told that they're no longer supported by Oracle or they reduce or they receive significantly reduced service. In reality, what they've actually entered into is called sustaining support, and the language of the Oracle support policy changes to say that the support is provided on a reasonable efforts basis. In short, this has been used as a means by many support engineers to provide greatly reduced level of service, and ultimately it results in delayed resolution of issues or uh, a lack of resolution to the issues that are reported. So within Fishbowl support, we believe that just because you're running a legacy version and you ha either haven't had a chance or it's infeasible to upgrade, that your support should degrade. So we're going to we strive to provide that same exceptional level of service for legacy versions as we do for 11G and the current and future releases. So Fishbowl support offerings are available for Web Center content products, including core Web Center content, which includes the core server, as well as standard components uh, such as uh, folders and other common components that are available during the installation, desktop integration suite, document capture, inbound refinery, content integration suite, and portless suite, including the RIDC API, um, Web Center content records, and finally Site Studio. In addition to Web Center content, our support offerings also are available for uh, Oracle Web Center Portal Suite. As mentioned earlier, there are four distinct categories of our offerings. That is enterprise support, customization support, administration support, and end user support. However, regardless of the offering, there are going to be features that are going to be common to all of the offerings that provide our customers with peace of mind. So first, we targeted uh, the core business hours. 
In general, our standard availability is 8.30 to 5 p.m. Central Time. However, we can certainly shift that to the west or east coast as needed, as well as have extended hours available. We, cur we do currently have customers that benefit from having extended hours, especially for higher critical severity issues. And 24-7 support for critical issues is something that is upcoming. Um, it's a, if it's a requirement for your business, we encourage you to let us know, and we can certainly work with you to ensure that you have the support you need. Second, for communication channels, we offer a dedicated support line, email, as well as our Zendesk online support portal and mobile application. If you haven't used Zendesk before, they're a leading cloud provider of support, port, support service portals. Um, in addition, they have a mobile application that allows you to interact with Fishbowl support via iPad, iPhone, or any Android-based device. Next, uh, unlike many support systems, um, we have an automated escalation mechanism to ensure that support issues receive proper visibility within Fishbowl. So this ranges from notifying myself all the way up to notifying Tim Grudel, our uh, president and CEO. So, that entire process as far as notifications and visibility into issues is completely automated. To avoid confusion and in the uh, case of defects that need to be reported to Oracle, uh, our severity definitions are familiar. That is, they're in line with what you'll see from Oracle as well as are common for the software industry. At all severity levels, our SLAs meet or beat those that are defined for Oracle support policies. And finally, one of the statistics of which I'm especially proud is our customer satisfaction. Uh, over the lifetime of Fishbowl support, we uh, have averaged 98%. In the last seven months, we've averaged 100%. Over the many hundreds of customer surveys that have been sent out during that time, both from a product support perspective uh, for Fishbowl products, as well as our enterprise support, customization support, administration support, and end user support customers, we haven't had a single negative review during that time. So personally, I think that speaks volumes uh, regarding the length to which we'll go to ensure our customers are successful. And while we definitely love to see customers upgrade to newer releases of Web Center and enjoy those new features and benefits and enhancements for the Web Center suite, at Fishbowl we definitely realize that it's not always feasible to move, to move from a legacy version such as 7.5 or 10G. Uh, this can be due to many reasons. For example, the upgrade being financially infeasible or the environment being heavily customized resulting in the upgrade simply being too daunting or too expensive. This may also include customers that are switching from uh, Web Center to other ECM systems or moving to a non-Web Center platform altogether. In these cases, whether it's an ongoing basis or whether it's in the interim before the migration, Fishbowl can provide exclusive support of the environment. That is that no Oracle support maintenance agreement is necessary, and you can simply use uh, Fishbowl alone to support that environment. In the interest of full disclosure, for customers that are not covered by the previous slide, Fishbowl support offerings are meant to supplement Oracle support agreement and are not meant as a substitute for an active maintenance agreement. So in addition to access to Oracle support, an active maintenance agreement allows you to submit defects enhancements to Oracle development as well as provides you access to software such as upgrades. Um, so it is critical if you're not covered by the previous slide that you maintain that active uh, Oracle maintenance agreement. So the first Fishbowl offering that we'll be covering in detail is enterprise support. To meet the needs of uh, different organizations, Fishbowl is offering two levels of support, basic and premium. First we'll be detailing the basic support package. Our basic enterprise support package provides break, fix, and question answer support to supplement the vendor maintenance agreement uh, by providing personalized service and proprietary knowledge of your environment. Uh, this is basically the first step in moving toward a support system that drives success rather than just moving from issue to issue and doing that firefighting that we were talking about where that knowledge isn't maintained. The basic support package includes phone, web, email, and mobile access to support the automated escalation of service requests submitted to Fishbowl that we were talking about, defined SLA response times that meet or beat those in the vendor support policies, 
maintain knowledge of the environment, including the business use cases and how Web Center drives your organization's processes. So we're actually learning those processes and learning how you specifically use Web Center uh, so that we can provide personalized service. When given VPN access to your network, if it's feasible, also issues can be resolved via remote access by fishbowl support. For example, if we perform a root cause analysis on a particular issue and we can recommend changes to resolve the problem, we can actually perform those changes on your behalf. That is, with your approval, of course, if any risks are associated with the change, we'll detail those and point you to where the recommendation is made and to eliminate and basically point you to where the recommendation would be made as far as that change. And if necessary and with your approval, we'll actually implement that change for you. And that way, you don't even have to worry about trying to resolve it yourself. We can do that on your behalf with your approval. To eliminate the relearning of your environment and the configuration information, uh, which is common moving from issue to issue, we maintain the configuration and architecture information associated with your environment with your supported environments. That ensures that both you and Fishbowl support are working as, efficient, as efficiently as possible and expediting resolution of any problems. If granted access to your Oracle CSI when necessary, such as in the case of defects, we will engage Oracle support on your behalf and provide them with all necessary information. Uh, in addition, Fishbowl support will continue to be the point of contact for that SR as well as any opened SRs on your behalf and manage that Oracle support queue for the supported products. With myself and my technical lead, John Lundgren, coming from Oracle, we do have proprietary knowledge of the Oracle support policies as well as contacts within Oracle development, and we use that knowledge and those contacts to drive issues to resolution as quickly as possible. Finally, uh, from a logistics standpoint, the basic enterprise support uh, plan is limited to a fixed number of support hours annually. That is, the Fishbowl basic enterprise support agreements are generally renewed on an annual basis to allocate support hours for the upcoming year. And then we'll be covering how that compares to premium plan shortly. To help you paint a picture um, of our typical basic enterprise support customer and how it relates to your organization, here we're presenting a typical basic enterprise support customer profile. So in general, our basic enterprise support customers have a dedicated IT staff in support of the web center environment, or they have a limited scale web center implementation and would like specialized expertise to help drive success of the environment. In other words, they, these are usually web center implementations on the smaller side, or in the case of larger implementations, the organization has dedicated IT staff to help support the environment or environments. As a step up from our basics enterprise support plan, we also offer a premium enterprise support plan. Premium enterprise support is uh, dedicated technical account management, issue resolution, proactive systems management for your uh, web center implementations. It includes everything that the basic support plan includes, along with additions such as a dedicated, techni a dedicated technical account manager, a weekly review of submitted issues by myself as the head of Fishbowl support. Uh, this is to ensure visibility even beyond the automated escalation. Quarterly reports for all the issues you open with Fishbowl support, as well as quarterly proactive health checks to ensure the environment's stability. Um, we also like to take the opportunity to perform these health checks and make recommendations as we're working on reported issues, um, but to ensure that those health checks are performed on a regular basis, at minimum they're done quarterly. Finally, whereas the basic enterprise support plan is limited to a fixed number of hours, unlimited premium enterprise support plans are available. So in the case if you don't want to concern yourself with support utilization, um, an unlimited plan is perfect for your organization. As with the basic enterprise support plan, we've identified some common characteristics of the premium enterprise support plan customer. Not all of these will necessarily apply to a premium uh, enterprise support customer, but they're meant to serve as general guidelines. Uh, for example, organizations that have limited IT staff in support of the web center environment or environments, uh, it is common, especially in the post-economic downturn economy, for companies to have an IT staff that is extremely trim 
this can make it extremely challenging to support a production web center implementation. Additionally, uh, organizations that have large-scale implementations that support many business critical processes often will choose the premium plan. Environments that have ongoing stability or end user satisfaction issues, oftentimes these customers will contact Fishbowl because they've implemented web center environments and the production environment is pl either plagued with issues or they're experiencing ongoing problems that result in poor end user adoption or satisfaction. Finally, organizations that either have a lack of in-house dedicated web center expertise or IT staff that have multiple duties outside of simply supporting the day-to-day -day operations of the environment. Uh, in short, to drive the web center success strongly within their organization, they desire specialized web center expertise on a regular and ongoing basis. To recap, Fishbowl is offering two enterprise support plans that help organizations transition from an issue-to-issue -issue firefighting support model to a model in which the business needs are understood, the configuration and architecture information is maintained, and we're actively working on behalf of, of your organization to drive progress in a more stable and usable web center environment. Um, the basic plan is the one that's limited to the number of hours and is generally purchased by organizations that either have a dedicated in-house team or a a limited web center, web center implementation. Uh, the premium support plan is available on an unlimited plan basis. Um, it's generally targeted toward organizations that have larger web center implementations from standard as far as how many business critical processes they're supporting, uh, the size of the user base, um, or they have unlimited IT resources uh, or IT resources that have multiple duties or organizations that are struggling with the stability of the environment and have a lower than expected end user adoption or satisfaction. All right, now we're going to switch gears a little bit and dive into Fishbowl's other three categories of support, including customization support, uh, administration support, and end user support. The first of these three categories is customization support. Something common to many organizations is the need to customize Web Center to meet the demands of the business. In a large number of cases, these customizations support business critical processes. However, if something breaks, issue resolution for customizations is not covered under your standard maintenance agreement. So at Fishbowl, we, we realize that these customizations can often be as, as important uh, to your business as the core product features. That's where the customization support plan comes into play. Uh, it provides expert developer level assistance uh, with your web center customizations, including all the same severity definitions, SLAs, escalations, et cetera, that you get with the enterprise support plan. Customization support also includes question answer support for your customization. So in cases where you have questions about how something works or how something was coded to work, which we all know that those are, aren't always the same. It also includes break-fix resolution for cases when the customizations aren't functioning as intended. It includes code analysis for when you need assistance in deciphering the implementation in relation to the business logic. And for customizations that were developed by Fishbowl, customization support includes defect fixes. So if a customization was implemented by our consulting organization and you discover a defect, our customer support group will provide a defect fix for the issue. For customizations that were not developed by Fishbowl Consulting, we'll provide root cause analysis of the defect and then make recommendations to you so that your team may implement a fix. Or alternatively, if you prefer, um, we can engage Fishbowl Consulting on your behalf and they can provide a defect fix for you. If it's Fishbowl Consulting providing that defect fix in those cases, um, the standard consulting fees do apply though. Organizations that would benefit from customization support uh, often have customizations that are web center environment that are supporting business critical processes. So that results in a desire for expert level assistance for support of those customizations to make sure, ensure stability and drive success of the implementation as a whole. Our support team has software engineer level expertise and over two decades of experience in supporting and developing for web center. So that combined with our high level of customer service and knowledge of the environment is designed to help keep uh, things running smoothly and uh, from both a core product standpoint as well as a customization standpoint. 
The second of Fishbowl supplemental offerings is administration support or administrative support for Web Center. Day-to-day -day administration of Web Center environments uh, is common to every implementation, and the goal of Fishbowl's administrative support is to provide assistance with the configuration, maintenance, and general day-to-day -day administration tasks of your Web Center environment. Um, it includes features such as uh, metadata configuration, uh, configuration or changes, environmental security access changes, such as altering mappings between LDAP or Active Directory groups to UCM roles and accounts, basic configuration changes, such as implementing configuration entries or applying what are referred to as MLR patches or O patches on your behalf, basic workflow, rule, profile, et cetera, configuration and creation. And finally, uh, from a bundling standpoint, administration support is generally bundled with enterprise support from the standpoint of being able to provide an end-to-end -end solution for both troubleshooting the issues as well as the, those day-to-day -day administration tasks. Since enterprise support does not include administration of the environment, and on the flip side of that, administration does not include troubleshooting of the environment. Administrative support is beneficial uh, for organizations that either have a minimal IT staff supporting their web center environment, they lack in-house web center expertise, or the IT staff have multiple duties such as other applications, other project work, et cetera, that makes day-to-day -day administration, administrative tasks very difficult to manage. We also actually have customers that have no in-house web center expertise and bundle enterprise support, customization support, and administrative support, uh, allowing Fishbowl to fully manage their environment. End user support is the final supplemental offering that we'll be covering in today's webinar. So end user support includes direct assistance for your end users of the web center application or applications, including the same standardized severity definitions and SLAs, to draw a distinction between enterprise support and end user support, uh, and enterprise support generally includes assistance to IT personnel within your organization, whereas end user support provides assistance uh, to those outside the IT group, that is the actual business users of the web center application. So it includes direct support assistance by our web center experts at Fishbowl for supporting your end users of the web center environment. It allows you to directly drive end user satisfaction and adoption whether they have questions or just need assistance in performing their daily tasks within Web Center. End user support can also be purchased for a portion of your user base or your entire user base. So if there are segments of your user base that uh, have more business critical functions within Web Center, you can focus on providing support to those users and then expand end user support as desired to help further drive end user satisfaction and adoption throughout the enterprise. Finally, uh, end user support is another offering that is commonly bundled with enterprise support. Uh, when bundled, it provides support to both the user base as well as the IT personnel within your organization. Organizations that fit the profile of a customer that gains the most benefit from the end user support is organizations that either have a minimal, non-existent, or lack of IT support uh, or IT staff within support of the end users of the web center environment. Um, in addition, we do have some customers that have come to Fishbowl for end user support because they find that outsourcing all of the end user support um, within the web center environment can be a cost effective solution. At this time, I'd like to introduce Judy Hedrick from Cascade, who um, Jason and Judy introduced earlier. Judy is one of our Fishbowl enterprise support and customization support customers, and uh, she's going to be providing us with her success story in using Fishbowl support. So, Judy, I'll turn it over to you. All right. Thanks, Matt. Cascade Corporation, first a little bit about us. Uh, we're not to be confused with the dish soap people. Uh, we are a global leader in the design and manufacture of, uh, and marketing of materials handling equipment and related technologies. Basically, if you have a product that needs to be moved, chances are we build an attachment for that. Cascade employs over 1,900 people at 31 locations worldwide. We've had Web Center for about eight years now, starting with Stellant version 7.5 in 2006. At first, we used it just as a document repository for things like invoices, marketing materials, project documentation, user guides, and finance documents. 
We added two very basic workflows for marketing content shortly after implementation. And when we added finance documents, we started using accounts and additions to roles for security. This satisfied our need for a multi-tiered security model so that documents could be adequately secured for our global finance users. With Fishbowl's assistance, we upgraded to 10G in 2008, and then in 2012 we upgraded to 11G, and Fishbowl was instrumental in the successful completion of that upgrade as well. We've installed several of Fishbowl's components, which has streamlined the development of our own in-house components. We've installed several Fishbowl components, which has streamlined the development of our own in-house components. The majority of our custom workflow applications take advantage of features in the workflow solution set. A few of our in-house applications include our customer purchase order routing, which is a simple approval workflow that routes purchase orders based on branch plant number. Our corporate credit card requests, which includes a custom web form with option-based approval routing. A capital approval request, which also starts with a custom web form. The form contains an embedded view that displays links to related content, which allows users to attach supporting documentations to their requests. The form is routed through workflow and has anywhere from four to eight steps depending on a combination of options selected on the request form and the branch for which the request was entered. Our engineering change management workflow is by far, far the most complex and was developed in joint effort with Fishbowl. It has six workflows multiple custom forms with the ability to attach related content, and a very complex routing based on option, product, and location. We also have multiple automated batch load and check-in applications that automatically assign metadata and route our documents for approval. Additional Oracle components that we've installed include desktop integration suite, digital asset management, and threaded discussions and we support about 600 users globally. We have three environments, development, test, and production, and each environment is configured with three Active Directory domains, a SQL server, which is installed on a virtual server, Apache, WebLogic, Inbound Refinery, and Web Center servers, all installed on physical servers, and three attached SAN volumes. We had several reasons for seeking support beyond what was offered by Oracle. First and foremost, we have limited web, web center resources. And when I say limited, I mean one. That meant poor coverage during business trips and vacations. And of course, that's exactly when things were going to break. For even the simplest issues, we had to go through the time-consuming task of opening an SR with Oracle. And the response times were generally unsatisfactory. The system configuration had to be entered every single time, and Web Center expertise seemed to vary significantly from one engineer to the next. Since Oracle support engineers aren't familiar with our specific environment and our components, a common recommendation was disable your custom components, which at best would render our business application workflows inoperable and in most cases would cause a loss of data. Delays in receiving resolutions ended up, resulted in happy, unhappy users. And of course, the more time I spent hunting down resolutions to issues, the less time I spent on value-added activities such as designing and working on solutions for our users. My work queue was piling up. We've enjoyed many benefits since signing up for enterprise support with Fishbowl. Many, if not all, issues or most issues are resolved the same day and sometimes the same hour. And as a result, our user acceptance has greatly improved. For issues that take longer, Fishbowl has been proactive about keeping me updated on the process. If a support request needs to be opened with Oracle, Matt, my support engineer, takes care of entering it for me and keeps track of it. Opening an SR with Fishbowl takes a lot less time than opening an SR with Oracle because I work with the same support engineer each time and he has all of our configuration information on site. This really paid off recently when we avoided applying a patch that would have fixed one relatively minor issue but would have broken some important features that we use daily. Had we not had that history, we would not have discovered the defect until it was too late. 
Now that our systems are better maintained, we have experienced less downtime. Fishbowl truly is an extension of our team, too. I can't say enough about this aspect. Uh, last week, I needed to apply a fix to our system, and I knew what needed to be done, but since I, it was an area that I'm not really that familiar with, I decided that it would be a good idea to have Matt on the phone, just in case something went wrong. We did encounter a minor issue, but with Matt's help, it was resolved quickly. If I had been going it alone, I would have been in a panic. Another benefit is peace of mind of knowing that when I'm not available, there's someone who knows our system well enough to take care of anything that comes up. I went on vacation a couple of weeks ago, and of course, the first day that I was gone, something came up. Our internal help desk representative opened an SR with Bishbowl, and Matt logged onto our system right away and started taking care of it. Before engaging with Fishbowl, I would have had to spend time researching the problem from my hotel room, but this time I didn't have to do that. Instead, I put on my hiking shoes and grabbed my camera and let Fishbowl take over. Now that I'm not spending so much time on administration, I can get back to what I really enjoy doing, which is developing solutions for our end users. I'm currently finishing up a project that I worked on with one of Fishbowl's software engineers to add some significant improvements to our engineering change management application. Once that's completed, I will be adding some enhancements to our capital approval workflow application. Next, I'm going to tackle the migration of a couple of our legacy Lotus Notes workflow applications into Web Center. Because of our support agreement with Fishbowl, I'm able to spend more time evaluating our users' processes so that I can design more effective solutions and I can complete projects in less time because I have fewer interruptions. Thank you for your attention, and now I'll hand control back to Jason. Thanks so much for sharing your story, Judy. That was great. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Matt, and Matt's going to kind of finish up with talking about the pricing and packaging and give a little summary. Thanks, Jason. We're going to conclude the webinar by presenting some pricing and benefits summary information then answering any questions you have. So this slide summarizes the pricing and packaging of the support offerings that we've covered today. Uh, first is the premium enterprise support plan. Uh, remember, this is the higher level plan with the unlimited options being available. Uh, the plan starts at 40 k with the final pricing varying depending on how many products you have installed, the number of environments, and the overall architecture. Uh, however, the 40 k figure is a good starting point. If you would like a quote specific to your environment, please don't hesitate to contact us and we can certainly provide that for you. Second is the basic enterprise support plan. This is basically the first step into enterprise support and is limited in the number of hours that can be uh, used annually. The pr uh, plan starts at 20 k with fi final pricing uh, varying on how many hours you'd like to purchase as well as overall architecture of the implementation. However, at that 20K price point, for many environments, you'll generally see, uh, receive 140 hours in that neighborhood of uh, annual support allocation. Third is customization support. For fishbowl customizations at the time of delivery, you can purchase customization support for 30% of the original cost of the customization annually. Uh, as previously mentioned, customization support for fishbowl customizations does include defect fixes during the period where you maintain uh, an active customization support agreement with Fishbowl. Due to the nature of customizations and the potential variability in both the number and risk of customizations, non-Fishbowl developed customizations are quoted on a per customization basis. However, we're more than happy to work with you and evaluate those customizations for you and then provide you with a quote. Fourth is administrative support. Administrative support is priced on a per customer basis depending on the number of hours you'd like to purchase and the nature of your environment such as products, architecture, etc. As previously mentioned, administrative support is generally bundled with uh, enterprise support and possibly customization support as well. This provides troubleshooting assistance, question answer assistance, as well as that assistance with the day-to-day -day tasks of patching and maintaining the web center environment. Lastly is end-user support. As with administrative support, end user support is priced on a per customer basis. Uh, pricing for end user support varies with the number of end users supported, the nature of the environment, uh, and the number of hours for which you'd like support. 
So to come full circle, uh, here we are summarizing the value additions of fishbowl support in relation to those commonly identified issues and pain points that we were covering at the beginning of the webinar. So the first issue we identified was a lack of support consistency. Uh, fishbowl support has a fine-tuned proven issue resolution process with consistent service request handling and that 98% lifetime satisfaction rating. The second issue we identified was that lack of overall support quality. Our value addition is a, that dedicated expert level web center resource tool that we have available, the automated escalation and the visibility of service requests at all levels of Fishbowl to ensure that we are consistently delivering industry leading quality support. The third issue we identified was that lost knowledge or the relearning and providing support from issue to issue or that issue firefighting as I mentioned earlier. Fishbowl support uh, is for getting to know those business use cases of your web center environment, including that maintained environment configuration and architecture information. This allows your organization to transition from that firefighting model into a model where we're evolving your web center environment to, into a more stable platform and helping drive that end user satisfaction and adoption. The fourth issue we identified was complex support processes, including those that exist within Oracle support. Uh, Fishbowl support has the proprietary knowledge of those Oracle support processes, as well as contacts within Oracle development. Um, we can use that information as well as those contacts to our advantage um, when re issues are reported to Oracle, such as defects, and we can help drive the progress when otherwise it would have stalled. All of those previously identified issues result in delayed issue resolution in an ongoing basis, a decreased return on investment. So our value addition is by providing that ongoing and customized support solution for your organization, you can see the dramatically reduced resolution times with the goal of maximizing both IT resource utilization within your organization as well as ROI on that web center implementation as a whole. Awesome. Thanks, man. And thanks again, Judy. At this point, we do have about 10 minutes left for questions. And so one question, Matt, you provide a lot of information on what the various support packages include. What are some things just overall that the, the, our support offerings do not include? From the standpoint of up, as far as access to upgraded software, so as far as when we were going back to maintaining that active maintenance agreement in the case where if you're not planning to either end of life web center or move to a non web center platform we wanted to um, maintain that active maintenance agreement going forward so that you have access to upgrades and you have access to being able to submit defects and enhancements to Oracle. So th those are the main things that we don't provide from a partner standpoint that you still need that active maintenance agreement for in the case where you don't plan on either you don't plan on upgrading or in the case of if you if you're not going to upgrade your or you're going to migrate off of the platform altogether so then on one other question Matt is when we talk about our the pricing and packaging and the term agreements how long, how long are these agreements for the various port offerings that we have is it a, it's an annual contract or is it monthly in general, um, the, the contracts or those agreements are going to be on an annual basis. However, in certain cases, especially when we have legacy customers or customers that are migrating off of um, the web center platform, uh, we're certainly willing to work with you and say if you want two or four or six months of coverage going forward, we can certainly provide that as well and we'll price it accordingly. Okay, another question here, Matt. Does basic support include some elements? of administration or administrative support? It doesn't from the aspect of actually administering the environment. However, so the delineation between basic enterprise support and administration support is that basic enterprise support in the sense that we can fix or resolve issues on your behalf if we have VPN access but it doesn't include things like making metadata or security configuration changes. That would be generally handled by administration support. However, what we can do is we can generally bundle the two together so that uh, in a way that's both price effective or cost effective for your organization and still providing both of those features. All right, great. Thanks, Matt. Another question. Matt did cover this earlier in the presentation, but 
The question is, what versions of Oracle Web Center or legacy versions are covered? And I believe, Matt, you said 7.x, 7, 7 10G, well, and 11G. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And actually, we work with customers that, and on a re fairly regular basis, that even go back further than that. So despite the fact that I pointed out specifically 7.5 and 10G, if there's legacy customers that are on 6x versions going all the way back there or even uh, 7.1, so the legacy Stellant versions, we're certainly happy to provide support for those as well. All right, great. So those are some great questions. Um, these questions will also include answers to these questions on our C4 blog, so everyone should look for those as well. So I think what we'll do is uh, conclude the webinar. So I also want to provide um, our contact information. So for any more information regarding our support offerings for Oracle Web Center, you can contact us many different ways by email or phone. Look for other information regarding these offerings through our C4 blog, which is also listed there. So we hope that you can uh, further engage with us if you have any other questions after today regarding our enterprise support offerings for Web Center. Again, I want to thank everyone for attending. I'd like to thank Matt Rudd here at Fishbowl Solutions and Judy Hedrick at Cascade for participating today. Thanks again, everyone, for attending, and have a great day.